This is Do the Right Thing with, with, with Pastor Shirley Warden. We're coming for you in the name of Jesus, praying and believing that, you know, souls will be set free and people shall be delivered through this ministry. Amen. Lord, we just thank you. We give you all the honor and all the praise and all the glory. Lord, we ask that you move every doubtful thing out the way right now. Lord, as the word go forth, Lord, that you will use us mightily in us and through us, Father God. But Lord, you don't let the devil have any place in this place right now, Lord. And Lord, as we move, that let every word, every word that goes forth out there in the world, Lord, that they will hear us. And Lord, let them not only be hearers, but doers also in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory. Amen. You know, I was thinking on about, um, about faith and how important faith is in these last and evil days, how it's really needed more so than ever yes. because we know that without faith it's impossible to please God. Hallelujah. It's something that you really, really, really need in order to endeavor to be able to use the things and the weapons that God has given us yes. to use. You use them by faith. Faith is the very substance, the very, the very foundation of what we need yes. nowadays in order to walk in the things of God. Because Amen. without it, the enemy will come against you. He will slap you around and knock you down because you don't believe what you're saying. Yes. And it's so important that we believe what we're saying. It's so important Glory. that we walk in the things that we believe in order to be able to accomplish that in which God Glory. has Glory. given us Glory. to do. Because even in the Bible, when he set forth the saints, you know, he sent them out two by two. To yes. accomplish, I mean, to, you know, to uh, do a job that he started, to finish the work that he had started. Thank you. And as they endeavor to go forth, they walk and they talk faith. Yes. They believe faith because of the because of the foundation that was set for them by Jesus Christ. Yes. You know, and I was wondering, you know, where's your faith? Where are you at in these little? Where exactly? Where are you at in your believing? You know, do you have faith? The faith the size of a mustard seed that grows oh, into yeah. a big giant tree that birds can come and, and, and like nest in it. Yeah. See, so you know, it's strange. A mustard seed is the tiniest thing, but it grows to be one of the biggest trees. Yes, it is. And I wonder, where's your faith at? Yeah. What do you have for that, little oh, brother? Well, in, in that, that you was just saying, um, faith is one of them things that, God have given every man a measure of faith. Yes. So as we walk, and you say it is Im impossible to please God without faith. So as I was over here listening to you, I um, went to Ephesians. I had it. And I hope I ain't lost it. Um, I have Ephesians. I'm just going to start at four and uh, come on down to five where it says one body, one spirit, even as he has called one to hope for your calling. And he said one Lord, one faith, one baptism. So the father was saying that we are a spirit man and blood water and soul so what he is saying is that by your faith and by your spirit and his grace that he gives you the confidence to move and do the things that you need to do mm -hmm. that's even in the world that's even in your mind when the devil wants to play with your mind that's in your heart that's even moving forth in the things that which is bigger than you some things that he give you are bigger than you. So that's what you need faith for. You don't just need faith for yourself, but you need faith to move and do the things that God have called you to do. And if faith ain't bigger than you, then it's not really that he didn't give it to you. He gave it to you. It's just that usually he wants you to activate your faith and use it to the most of the glory of God through faith. Because he takes the smallest things, as they say, and he uses it to confirm the wise because the wise think you got to have education you got to be smart but god say no uh-uh peter and them was unlearned men but when he got around the people that knew that he had that they had been with jesus they knew that he they was unlearned men but once they heard him speak they knew they had walked with jesus because jesus taught them the things that they needed to know and it and the 
that Jesus take the wisest things like you say and make it come wise and he bring it forth and Jesus will give you a product to do that is bigger than you and he wants you to use your faith. If you step out on faith as he told Peter, come out the boat. And Peter say, if that is you, Lord, forbid me to come. And he stepped out on the water. Peter walked on the water. But he started looking at his circumstances, which we all do in the flesh. We look at our circumstances. We look at our surroundings. We look at what we have in our hand. And God say, no, no, that's not faith. God say, believe in me even the more. And God say, stay in this word and begin to seek me even the more. God say, seek my face. If you seek God's face, and find out what's in God's heart. God will begin to speak and bring revelation knowledge. God will bring illumination to you. And God will show you some things that he will show you the end and the beginning. But he won't show you what's in the middle. And a lot of times that's where we give up at. In the middle. So God is saying, be faithful to what I have gave you. Amen. What do you think about that, Brother Cleo? You know, I was thinking about over here in uh, Romans uh I mean, Romans 5 in the first chapter where it says Romans 5, yeah, Romans 5 yeah. Go ahead. Okay. where it speaks it and says therefore being justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. by whom also we have obtained I mean we have according by yeah by faith, no cause, by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope, hope of the glory of God. Amen. See, Hallelujah. we find that, you know, we're already justified, justified, pardon me, justified by faith. Yes. You know, and see, when Christ did what he did up on the cross of Calvary, mm -hmm. he justified us. Amen. You know, he put us in a position to whereas no longer are we separated from the Father. Mm -hmm. No longer do we have to walk the way that we used to walk, which is a sinful walk. Amen. But now he's given us the power to be able to turn to the Father and say, Abba, Father. And we, and like, you know, we will have an audience with the Father. Yes. All because, you know, we believe in Jesus Christ. Yes. You know, the, that old saying is, on Jesus Christ, the solid rock, I stand, and all other ground is sinking sand. Amen. That's when you had that hope. Yeah. That's when you know without a shell of a doubt that it's Christ yes. that has made the difference. Amen. It's Christ Hallelujah. that paid the price. Glory. It's Christ that did the things that he did in order for us to be able to do the things that yes. we do. Hallelujah. See, the problem is nowadays in this walk, it's a lot of self going on, self-effort, you know, and God's not looking for self-effort. God's looking for someone who's going to believe and trust in him, someone who's going to believe in his finished work and trust in what he's already done and yes. walk in those things. Glory. Because see, in self, you really can't do anything. Yes. It's a lot of, you know, it's a whole lot of what I think going on. Amen. But what about what God did? Not what you think, but what God has already did. Mm -hmm. The foundation that he's already set, that we walk by faith. Amen. And we have hope in this walk that we're walking because Christ already laid the foundation and gave us a purpose and a reason to walk this walk. Glory. And see, that purpose and that reason is that we're all looking to find ourselves in the same place. Yes. And that's in heaven. Amen. That's in heaven. That's being with the Father. That's being able to bow down before him and just praise mm -hmm. him. Praise him and praise him and praise him yes. some more. You know, see, God is looking for a people, a people whose heart is tender towards him, a people who trust and believe in him. And that's where faith comes in. Amen. Because if you believe God, then you'll be obedient to God. Yes. But if you don't believe God, then you won't be obedient to him. Yes. See, God needs, or God wants a people who loves him the way that he loved them. What's, what's the word of God say? Greater love hath no man than this? Yeah. That a man should lie down his life for his friend. And he said, yeah, my friend, if you do whatsoever, I command you. Yes. I Hallelujah. command you. And see, as we walk the walk in honesty and in truth, knowing and believing that at the end of the rainbow, mm -hmm. there's, there, I mean, there's a beautiful picture, a beautiful picture of being in glory. Amen. Being in glory with the Father. 
being loved all the more by him, being able to lay at his feet, being able to hear words coming out his mouth. Yes. Instead of waiting to hear it come out of somebody's mouth, but hearing it come right from the word and the throne of grace. Being able to be a part of the great and glorious hope that we have in the future and being with and knowing Christ in yes. the fullness thereof. Hey, man. What do you think about that, brother? Well, I was uh, just sitting here, and as you were speaking, and you were saying being on the throne with God, as he say um, in the Ephesians, second chapter, fifth verse, as he said, even when we were dead in sin, had quickened us together with Christ by grace, yet are saved, and has raised us up together to make us sit together in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Now we sitting in heavenly places Amen. with Christ Jesus. And he came down here and died for us. And he ascended to the lower part of the earth and then he ascended back to heaven. But he came down here for our souls and our salvation. And he sent us like a helper, which is the Holy Ghost. Amen. And he is steady thinking about our well-being daily because he intercede with the father when the father think this right here about one of us or one of you god say no jesus say no i died for him here's my blood i shared it for them you get theirs in my hand you told me you would not pluck them from my hand so he is still in interceding every day for your life and for your well-being even with the devil, the devil had to seek Jesus uh, Christ about you every day before we can even try to touch you or harm you. And he can't do either one because Jesus has pulled all his teeth. When he went down there into the lower part of the earth, he made the devil, when you look at him, they say, that's him? Yes. He can't even bite. He's an old man. But he comes through your mind and through your emotions. That's right. And then he comes back down your generational curses and things, but you have to stop that thing in midstream and say, no, no more. The buck stopped right here. It's not going past. Whatever your name is, like mine is not going past Michael Knight. And I tell him every day, the devil is a stop right here. No more. You're not going to have any room in the Knight's family. In Jesus' name, amen. And Brother Cleo, what you think about that? You know, I see what you're saying, you know. Yeah. Uh, going back to, you know, uh, that thing about grace and being saved. But I was, you know, I was looking at like down in the 8th chapter, same place. Okay. But only in the 8th chapter. Mm -hmm. It speaks on this wise. It says, for by grace are ye saved. Yes. Through faith. Yes. And that not of yourselves, it is a gift. Yes. Of God. Amen. You know, and it says, you know, not of works. Mm -hmm. At least any sh any man should boast. Yes. You know, and seeing that, it's like you were speaking, you know, uh, that, you know, how Christ, you know, he, he you know, he set the foundation. So yes. So as you were saying. Amen. And see, when he did what he did, he enabled us Glory. to be able to walk in this right here. Yes. Walk in grace, knowing that. You know, by grace we're saved, and you know, Christ we know is grace. Yes. You know, when He died, you know, it's you know, it's basically God's unmerited favor. Thank you. you know, Lord. He thought enough and loved us enough to give us only the very best, yes. and that was His Son, and that was Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And see, because of Him, we have received a gift. And that gift is grace. Yes. You know, it's nothing that we got to work for. Mm -mm. It's nothing that we got to plead or beg for. It's freely Hallelujah. given. Hallelujah. And it's, you know, it's just, it's just like any gift that you get yes. is given to you. You know, you don't, you don't pay for a gift. Mm -mm. It's something that God, you know, it's something that's given freely from the heart. Yes. And see, God gave us his son freely from his heart. Amen. And his son came down and he died up on the cross of Calvary. Yes. And the Bible said that he went down to the pit of hell. Amen. And there he was, he was there for three days and three nights. And then when he found, you know, and then to say that, you know, uh, he led our captivity free, took the keys, 
to, you know, death, hell, and the grave. And like you say, he snatched the devil's teeth out of his mouth. Yes, In sir. other words, he took his false teeth. Thank you. Thank <laughs> Amen. You know? Amen. And, Glory uh, be the God. You know, he, like the Bible said, he prayed across the heavens and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, because, you know, we find nowadays that hope in a lot of things is somewhat gone a little bit. Yes. You know, it's gone a Amen. little bit. Everybody, yeah. you know, a lot of people has lost hope. Yeah. You know, in the simple fact what Christ has already done for us. You know, they're finding all kinds of reasons why they should. And I've seen saints that I knew from way back, you know, they went from one religion to another religion. Mm -hmm. But see, you know, when you have hope in a particular something, when you believe that mm -hmm. in, 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 you know, uh, in a particular someone, see, I believe in Christ because of the foundation and the things that he's shown me and the things that I have experienced myself. Amen. See, all my hope and belief is in Christ Jesus. Yes. All because, you know, he thought him to show me himself. Yes. He showed me inside of himself. Glory. You know, and as you begin to believe and trust, when you really get to a place where you know down in your Noah that for Christ I live and for Christ I die, Christ will strengthen your belief. He would give you what you need to believe all the more yes. the, for, about I mean, for the promises and everything of Christ. You see, because see, the Father is not a liar. Yes. If He said you should have whatsoever you say, guess what? You're gonna have it. Yes. You know, if He said, you know, come unto me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will yes. give you rest. Guess Glory. what? Amen. He'll give you that rest. Oh yeah. He'll give you that peace. Amen. You know, he delivered us from bondage. And see, bondage is a peace destroyer. Yes. When someone has you in bondage or something, yes. it, it, it robs you of your peace. Amen. But see, God has delivered us yes. from peace. Amen. And he gave us power over death, hell, and the grave. You know? Thank you, Lord. He gave us power, the power that we never had before. Yes. You know, he gave us power to lay hands up on the sick. Yeah. To cast out devils. Yeah. You know? And, you know, when you believe in Christ and know without a shadow of a doubt yes. that he loves you and yes. he cares about you, Thank he'll you, Lord. do anything for you, Glory. and guess what? You got it made. Yes. You got it made because your Glory. hope is mm -hmm. where it should be. Your love is where it should be. You know, I don't, you know, this world is not my home. Yes. I know that I'm a pilgrim here. I'm just yes. passing through here. But Glory. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do what the world of God say. Wear this world like a loose garment, mm -hmm. and like if you know how loose garment is, you know you can put your arms straight down and slide right off of you. Yes. But when you wear this world like a loose garment, you're ready to when hey, hey, you know when that hey when that trump sound, you ready to get out of here. You know you're ready to go. You're in a place to where yes. you can just take off. Thank you, and Lord. meet the Lord in the air. Amen. You know, and that's a beautiful place to be. But guess what? Amen. It's going to take your faith. It's going to take grace. It's going to take obedience. It's going to yes. take love. Yes. It's all those things that the Lord has prepared for us, the weapons, the tools that he's given us to use. Amen. In order to be able to make it. Yes. And guess what? When you use all the tools and the gifts that God has given you, Hallelujah. guess what? Your name is in the last book of life. Amen. Because in your heart and in your mind and in your yes. soul, you're all for Christ 100%. Yes. There's no more I, but it's Christ that liveth in me. Thank you, Lord. In the hope of glory. Yes. Amen. 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 Um, I was right here in Ephesians 1, where Paul, the apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, as he said, but the will of God, as he was talking to the saints over there in Ephesians, the first, yeah. that's the, the first, first one, the number first one. one. Okay. Yeah, and he was just saying, uh, "And to the fullness of Christ, grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father, and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God our Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, whom." have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heaven, heavenly places in Christ. Amen. According to his choice of us. In him before the foundation of the world that we shall be found holy and without blame before him in love. Amen. Having appended a pending nation at, uh, of us unto 
the adoption of the children by the Lord Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasures of his will and the praise of the glory of his grace wherein he has made us acceptable in the beloved in whom he have redeemed through the his blood and forgiven us of our sins according to the riches of his grace. Now in all that he have forgiven us, he put us in heavenly places, he has adopted us, he don't have no opinionation of you. Whatever you did is is cast into the sea of forgiveness. And as far as from the east is from the west, he's not worried about what you're doing and how you're doing it. He's worried about is you going to do what I asked you to do and keep his commandments. God is looking for somebody that's with a willing heart and, like you say, full of faith and grace Amen. that's willing to speak the word of God and say what I say. And if they don't receive it, shake the dust off your feet and keep it moving. But God is saying today... I'm looking for a willing vessel, a willing vessel, one that will stand up and speak righteousness, even in dark places, even in the places where the people that don't want to hear him, even to the homongers, even to the people that are out there stealing, killing, and robbing, even to the dope dealer. God wants you to go up in them places and talk to somebody and say, I'm not having it. The Lord Jesus Christ sent me here in, in his name and the blood of Jesus. I plead over this place. And the Lord is looking for somebody that is able, like he say, your father, when, when you get adopted in, into something and the inheritance of your father, God is saying, I, I adopted you into this inheritance, which I have for you. And God is saying this day, I pray that you receive this. And I said before you, life and death, and I pray that you choose life. What do you think about that, Brother Cleo? Amen. Amen. Like that Hallelujah. Life and death part right there. Yes. Said, you know, choose life or choose death. Yes. You know, and that life is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. <coughs> that life yes. is walking in, in that life is walking in the things of Christ Jesus. Yes. You know, like when you choose life, you begin to walk in that lifestyle. The lifestyle that is given by the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, and what you man. learn about the lifestyle, the Bible Glory. tells us to study, to show thyself approved. A yes. work you need not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. Yes. And see, in order to walk in that lifestyle, you know, you have you, you have to study. Because yes. see, there's no way that you know how to walk in that life yes. if you don't know God's word. Amen. God's word is so important. It's so important that, you know, we that you know we gird up our loins with the preparation of the gospel of peace yes. that truth that is found in god's word and like as you endeavor to study to show yourself approved god will begin to open up things to you new avenues yes. new ways you know and everything you know because god is doing a new thing yes. he's doing a new thing and that new thing is found down inside of you and i just thank god because for the simple reason that as you endeavor to believe god and allow God to build your faith up. Because, see, the word of God says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So as you endeavor to study God's word and gird up your loins and begin to believe and know God for a shall of a doubt that he is a one that can, I mean, I mean that he's a God that shall and will build you up in your most holy faith. He'll strengthen you. He'll give you what you need in order to continue in this yes. great thing called grace. Amen. In this great thing called doing his will and faith. In this great thing. You'll be able to speak, descend unto that mountain. Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. And you won't doubt in your heart. Because guess what? Your heart is tender towards God. Mm -hmm. And God honors that. He honors an individual who is able who, and who is willing to do that in which he's called for them to do. Because God has called for us to do great and exceedingly and abundant things in his name. And we just thank God on today because of who he is and what he is. Yeah. He's the one, the only one, Amen. hallelujah, that loves us 
greater than greater than we love ourselves. People may say that they do, but guess what? I don't believe them. Mm -hmm. I don't believe them. Can't nobody love you like Jesus loves you, because He gave His own for you and He died for you. And I just thank God for that. Amen. My brother, what do you have to add to that? Well, I'm in Romans <clears throat> six. Um, okay, um, and I was just reading over here where it was saying about sin. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are under the law, but under grace. Under grace. Yeah, yeah, but you, yeah. What then shall we sin? But we are not under the law, but under grace. God forbid, nor ye not that to whom ye yield yourself servant to obey his servant. Ye are to whom ye obey, rather the sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. Now that's just him talking about our flesh. There's no good thing in the flesh. We know that. And your flesh sometimes can take you some places where you don't want to be and keep you longer than you want to stay. So <laughs> we know in the world that we do these things, but God is saying today this is for somebody that you do not have to be a follower. Learn how to be a leader in your world. And, and I know it's peer pressure out there today, but... Don't let peer pressure take you out the will of God. Stay in the will of God. And if you don't know, you can get into the Bible, study in church, and start hanging around people that are willing to be in Christ. And we just thank you right now. We give you all the honor and all the praise and all the glory. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. This is Thomas Hitman Hearn, and you're watching Bell Global Network. What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Vicky Winans, and you're watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy, D. Hattie, watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, everybody. I'm telling you, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine, AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times. And you are watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy, D. Hattie, watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, everybody. I'm telling you, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine, AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times. And you are watching Bell Global Network.